Hello again. Good morning. It's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard. And I've got a 12 by 16 inch canvas and I'm going to do something with it <laughs> in a moment. But for right now, I'm going to fix this pan of colors, which is pretty much what you see. And that's how they got that way. It's me just squeezing some stuff in there and deciding whether I liked it or not. And I've got some other colors. to go in there also. Ah, I did use that color. I didn't think I did, but I did. I didn't use my normal blues, and I think it's time I grab some of those, if they'll come out. Whatever's in my tip has got to go. Every time I start to film, I have a tack ready. And every time I go to look for my tack, it's like not where I can find it. So fortunately I have a fork. So I'm just going to fork my bottle and put that tip away. That's some blue. I want some more gold. And how about some pearl? Do I have some pearl? No, I've got some white. There's the pearl. Keep putting those aside. And I didn't use any of my beautiful green gold. And I think that's going to happen. I'm not sure what's going to happen. I may do anything at this point. I just want to play. I'm having one of those days where I just want to play. And I don't have a plan. And I have crib notes in my bag. Should I decide I can can come up with a plan. But in any case, paint makes paint spread more easily when you have a wet base. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give myself a wet base. And I'm not going to worry about how... I'm going to worry about that being dry. I don't like water in there because it changes the consistency of things. And sometimes it does not stick to the canvas. I'm just going to do this with a slight abstract expressionist bent which means putting anything I want anywhere I want. Because I'm just feeling that willful. It's a because I can moment, which is sort of like the exact same name of the book on Amazon that I wrote. The title is Because I Can. So if you need to know what tools I'm using in general and my processes in specific, or you're interested in seeing the dry artworks from the first hundred YouTube videos, then you will be able to go and maybe take a sneak peek for free. I'm not sure how that works, but I, I do hear it's possible. Or uh, even borrow a book from Amazon if you're within range of how that's working, because I'm a little ignorant of some internet techno technical data and uh, I don't always have all the answers. I need help sometimes. And I sometimes I get it and sometimes I don't. All right, so I want what I really want. What do I want? I want to dump some of this paint over here, right down the middle, because I can, right out of that container. And I'd like to have a little more of it spread. And even though I love this color, I'm going to use it as a spreading element. First, I'm going to move it. No rules for me today. I just need complete and utter chaotic freedom. And unclogged tips. <laughs> All right, so I've still got some paint on that spatula, but as long as I'm using the other side of it, it shouldn't make any difference. And I'm going to use that side down here. Knock that right off. I've got some great patterns happening there. I like that edge. I'm thinking I would like to integrate it. And since I'm not going to spatula it, maybe, just maybe, it's time to pull out the fork. 
Even if it isn't time to pull out the fork, it's still fun to play with things that I'm not supposed to be playing with. I don't know who made up that rule, but not me. So I'm still going to keep going back and using my spatula that's got other stuff on it to alter what's already there. And it may or may not stay that way. That's the way that works. I'm having too good of a time just doing what I want. That was not the pearl, and I was kind of hoping it was going to be the pearl. I like how the stuff I dumped out of the iPod box worked, and that's what that container was. It was my iPod box. Just going where my heart takes me. And that's kind of cool. I'm happy with that so far. Let's see what happens if I continue on that way. Okay, do I want a little more? Well, how do I want that? Do I take it like... Just remove it with a spatula. And a finger. And another finger. Move that around some, see? Throw some white paint around it, maybe. Just around the edges so I can blow it into it, maybe. Maybe, maybe. Maybe, baby. <laughs> I feel a little crazy today. Sorry. I have so much to do in my office. I should not be here at all, for sure. I have like a hundred paintings plus to label. To get ready for the shows coming up. But I surmise that there are enough other paintings that are ready that I shouldn't have to worry about it if I feel like I need a break. Alright, so I didn't mind that negative white space down there and I don't mind how it stays negative. Even if it has a little bit of something else mixed into it, it's okay with me. It's just using what I've got and enjoying the process, and I am doing both of those things. And I like that orange. I don't want a ton of it, but I don't have to. If I just put a little down, the skewer will do the rest of the work for me. That's pretty cool. I like what the skewer's doing. I'm going to wipe that white paint off because as much as I like it... Yeah, I, no, I didn't finish my sentence. But that's okay. Because I need to focus sometimes. Just give myself permission to play whether I have people watching me or not. So I feel like I've let some of my abstract expressionist soul go a little bit by the wayside being too much in a hurry because people keep telling me I'm in too much of a hurry and I'm not trying to worry about it but all right I just dipped that in that iPod case that skewer and I don't want to waste that paint but Agitated paint will often sell. You can see that blue is selling magnificently there. What do I want to do over there? I don't know. I like that black. Yeah, seldom do I do what I'm doing now, which is just give myself permission. I'm not trying to pour anything specifically. I'm just taking the elements that I've learned about in the time that I've done this and putting them where I want them instead of allowing them to go where they want to go. Well, there's some of that too, but... All right, I have a lot of paint up there and I think it's not going to hurt anything to put it down here at all. 
So I'm just going to dip my skewer in and roll it around. until I have less of a puddle and more coverage. And then just roll it into the edge of that other paint. And as long as I'm not seeing canvas, I'm pretty good with that. Alright, so what else? I've got some nice vacant spots and I would like to fill them but I don't feel it's necessary that it be pure and I don't mind a little gray. I like black and white a lot actually. I think I would like a whole lot more in here and I think it might require my using a spatula to get it that way. Now, it might be a little quieter than usual, but um, I promised myself this year I would allow myself to get back to what I really love to do, which is whatever is inspiring me at the moment, and this is that. So, that's pretty cool. I like all of that. It's not the same as most other things. It looks like something's happening there for sure. <laughs> and I have not either not set my timer or it has not gone off or I don't just see the readout. So I'm going to say this is Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio continuing to work on this painting until you're not here anymore. And then I'll see if you're still here uh, by looking at my camera's monitor. And for the moment, this is what I've got, and I'm going to deal with it. I don't always remember to turn on my timer, and my camera shuts off after 20 minutes, so that wasn't a good thing. could have sworn I said that. It's probably sitting there right there with, with 20 minutes on the timer and not... Um... Yeah, I'm happy with this. I really, really am happy with it. I like what happened there. I might just do a little more... So check out, check for my book on the Amazon link below the video. Oh, not sure about that at all. Where's my tubing? If in doubt, finger it out. And I might put a little more back there. I can. Yeah, still not bothering me. I'm having a good time. I hope you had a good time. Thank you for all the contributions, everybody. You kept me painting. I am going to tell you that there's a contest and I'm not sure you're going to get into it because <laughs> I'm not sure I'm, I'm actually recording for anything but um, if you donate to help support the studio you'll be included in a drawing when I take one name and you'll have a choice of three artworks if you win and that's all dependent on if your email address is current or not and other than that I have Teespring clothing and an Amazon link I told you about already where if you buy anything there you help me out little bit including my book because I can and uh, I love you guys thanks for commenting all the time and I have more than 400 videos if you haven't seen them all then you're in for a treat there's a few more you might want to watch and that was a bizarre surreal whole process as I was unsure of whether you were there or not and I'm going to give this still a torch. 
release the bubbles. And create a few patterns. And that just feels more like me right now. Makes me want to do a black and white. Probably a black and white and whatever. Okay. So it's time to see if you're here or not. <laughs> and you are still here. So I feel like I was letting you eavesdrop because I was feeling really strange during the end of that. And I got to tell you guys again, I love you so much. So keep commenting and keep asking me questions. And if you can help me in the studio by contributing, that's great. And if you can't, I, I'm happy that you're here. 42 going on 43,000 of you, probably more by the time this gets posted. So um, you all take care and have a happy new year. And I'll see you in the next video. Is there anything I forgot? Oh yeah, I sell my art. So if anybody's interested in buying my art, just get in contact with me. And if you look under the video, there's um, my paint pouring mixture recipe and an Instagram link and uh, Facebook albums with the wet and dry artworks from YouTube and, um, and um, I said Pinterest and Instagram. Okay, I've covered it all. That's all I can do. I'll see you guys soon. Maybe I can zoom in. Maybe I could do that. I love this piece. Reminds me of something my dad did once. So, take care guys. Bye for now.